Um, I am changing the motor mounts on my 2001 GMC Safari. As you can see uh, right here, I've got it all taken apart on the right hand side. Um, this is basically the, the motor mount that fell out. Uh, you can see it's completely destroyed on this side. I have taken out the bolt that runs through the mount and then I went ahead and disconnected the four bolts uh, that attach the mount to the frame and um, I'll pull this out through the top here as you can see this is the mounting device there was a bolt through here and then two bolts through here basically um, you get to this bolts through the bottom um, you go through this point right here uh, through here you go right through here to get to the bolts that are inside and then you go through this right here between the lower control arm and the tie rods you go through here and you go through that slotted hole to grab the lower back bolt lower front is through here and here lower back is through here and through here and then for the uh, upper front bolt which is the one bolt that goes in here you go through this opening here or you could go through this opening here to grab it. Uh, what you've got to do is, is also make sure you use a wrench this type to grab the top and use the appropriate amount of extensions to angle in from these openings to get to the bottom uh, nuts. Um, the other thing I had to do was rig up a 2x4 onto a jack I'm going to do it this way. That goes to the manifold. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, let's point some light into there. As you can see, it's sitting on that manifold, which is a red, rusty color. Uh, basically, I have tried to keep the 2x4 straight in profile, as you can see, and just jacked it up enough so that it lifted my mount up and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the new mount from here. I'm gonna slide it in and then what I'm gonna to try to do is put in the three bolts. One, two, and three and then uh, play a game on trying to match the nut from the bottom and trying to get that thing screwed in. Uh, it's really easy. It's just a little time consuming. It's been 37 minutes and I have being able to remove it completely. The new mounts that I have bought are from Napa. These are the this is the new one. It is the same part from uh, for the right or for the left side. You can see that this fits in much nicer because the rubber is not being squashed. Um, if you look at the old one, you will see on a side profile that this had been completely destroyed. You can see that this was completely loose. Um, the bottom of that has been all chewed up and disintegrated. And that's about it. And the part number for this mount is Napa part number 6021379. This is for a 2001 GMC Safari. I'm pretty sure there's common for uh, several of the years, but just give them your make and model and you will get them from here. You do not want to get the ones that are made in China. Apparently they are no good. Uh, a lot of people have complained about them. 
So I went ahead and uh, got them from Napa. They're not available from the dealer because it is a discontinued item. So therefore you don't have to pay the arm and leg that you would have if you had got them from the dealer. Now, um, these are made in Korea, I believe, based off the stamp that you see on the rubber. Let's see if you can, I'll go out here and see if I can show you that. You can see that right there, it says made in Korea. So that's it for that side. Um, I will get to the other mount, but let me get this in and then I will show it bolted up. Okay, um, this is the driver side mount, engine mount that I just replaced. Um, pretty much you open all three bolts that hold the, the mount, the engine mount with the rubber grommet in it. There's one bolt in the front, two in the back. You access them through here and then you open this bolt up, nut up, and then you jack up the engine. You jack up by putting it two by four up to this point right here. And then you lift up ever so slightly, pull this bolt out, then jack up as far as you can and this thing will then drop down and out. Um, you can see that there is a lip on this uh, um, engine mount. You had one similar to this on the other side. Again, it is towards the inside of the car. It is not on the outside. Hence, when installing the mounts, do not try to feed them from the top down, but instead feed them from the bottom up. You want to raise the engine approximately an inch, inch and a half. Um, I had to do that on both sides. Um, and then you slide the mount in, get the bolts in, uh, these three bolts that hold the mounting in, put the uh, nuts on on the bottom, get them a little snug, um, and then what you do is um, you lower the engine. Uh, and then you see how this rubber grommet is lining up with that. In my case, this rubber grommet was approximately a quarter inch too far towards the front of the engine, and so I had to remove the mount, hit the ha you know it hit it with a hammer several times to get that rubber grommet over towards the back of the engine uh, car about a quarter of an of inch, and then the thing dropped down. Um, one of the tools that I found quite handy in trying to get the hole lined up uh, with this hole in here um, that I did not have to do with the other side uh, was, I'll show you that tool, this basically a pix that is uh, tapered uh, to the front, basically you stick this into the hole and then you're able to then force the uh, the rubber grommet up or down in order to get it lined up with the holes. I had to on the driver side do this from both the front end from where I insert the bolt and then from the back end as well and this helped get that lip uh, tight up against it helped get this lip tight up against this notch that's uh, in the plate that is attached to the uh, the bracket that is attached to the engine. Um, so that's about it. Um, I thought this side would be a little easier but I had some alignment issues so that I ate up a little bit of my time. Uh, it's fairly easy to do. Uh, just be prepared to spend some time and uh, if you get frustrated, walk away, come back and rethink it and uh, get the stuff in. Well, that's about it. Um, according to the book, I believe this one is supposed to be 50 pound, uh, foot pound uh, torqued, and the rest of them are 37, I believe. And I can check that for you. And if we go back to the book here, you can see that it's 50 for the bolt. And then for the other ones, we're 
supposed to tighten to 31 or 35 I went ahead and made it 35 so basically when tightening these three I tightened them to 35 I did not remove this at all because I did not want to go through the arm on this and try to get the nuts loosened so this bolt is 50 keeping in mind the front of the engine is there so this goes in from the front towards the back and that nut is put on and then tightened to 50 pounds feet well that's about it so this is the uh, engine mount change for the 2001 GMC Safari and my next thing is going to be changing out the uh, the rear uh, and uh, transmission mount we are now removing the transmission mount and as you can see here you remove this bolt here then you remove the, bolt, the nut that is inside here and it turns out to be one of these things right here and then similar to this bolt there is a bolt on the other side as well so once you have this bolt out you need to jack up the transmission as far up as you can to pull out then this transmission here once we install the new one we are then going to need to make sure that we mount the new one and tighten the bolts to the correct specifications which are I had it out but apparently this thing moved on me okay here we go so basically um, we are going to be tightening the two bolts that attach to the engine this two-wheel drive to 50 or 37 pound-feet and the one nut that attaches to the frame across needs to be tightened to 30 pounds per foot and you can see that there are two type of engine mounts. There's one that have two studs and there and then to the transmission there's always two of those mounts. So these two get bolted to 50 newton meters or 37 pound feet and then the other transmission mount that when it mounts to the lower arm gets tightened to 40. Now there are two types of mounts as I had mentioned earlier there's one that has two studs and one that has two stud, one stud. You need to make sure, figure out which one you have. Um, uh, my uh, car comes with only one stud, and it seems like it is a hydraulic type of mount where there is a hydraulic unit inside here somewhere, uh, which then dampens the uh, movement from the engine and the transmission. So that's basically it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and install this in the reverse order and tighten the bolts. And then we are done. So that's all there is to change the engine mounts and the transmission mount on a 2001 GMC Safari.